Hi, it's Elisa, and I want to show you how to use SoftChalk Cloud to add lessons to your online hybrid or face-to-face -face class in Canvas. So there's a couple of steps here um, that I want to show you. First off is I've added my lessons that I built in SoftChalk in the modules area. So let's take a quick look at what they look like. So here you can see in my first module, I have the week one folder that tells the students what they need to do. And then I have these lessons with this little chain link thing. And when the students click on this, it will take them to one of the soft chalk lessons that I've created. So when it's open, the students can see the lesson. They can see how many pages there are on the lesson. And also, I can add in little quiz me's just to, you know, make sure that students are reading along and actually uh, looking at this content. Now, it's really nice because what I can do is after the students have done this, I can go in and look at the score center. So SoftChalk Cloud will keep track of the scores. So here you can see two students uh, who one scored zero, one scored nine. I can see when they completed it and how many attempts that they had when they did this exercise. And all of my students are listed below. I just don't want you to see them all. So I want to just quickly show you how I got these lessons on the module page and how I created these lessons. So let's start with SoftChalk. I actually used the SoftChalk 7, the program, which I download to my computer because I had trouble with the SoftChalk Cloud program on my Mac. So what I ended up doing was downloading SoftChalk 7 and using that. And here you can see that I've added a video video file from YouTube. I just grabbed the, the uh, embed code, put it there. I added a QuizMe feature and I added an image. And I've added several pages here. So all I need to do then is to go up to File and to package the lesson first. And when I package the lesson, I can tell it that I want for SoftChuck Cloud to track the scores. And then I want for my students to have unlimited attempts, but I only want to see the highest. Okay, I can give it a title. I can tell them to print their summary and say OK. Then I need to upload it to the cloud. So I click File again, and this time I'm going to publish it. So I click, click Publish. I log into my account. I choose the folder. I set up a, a folder for each one of my classes that I want to add this to. And in this case, I've already added it, but it was Lesson 5.1, which is right here. And I just click Publish. I want to make it public so that I can share it with all of you. And then I click Publish. And then what happens is it goes to SoftChalk. So when you go over to the SoftChalk Cloud and log in to your account and then click on My Content, My Lessons and Courses, you will now see the lesson that you just uploaded from SoftChalk 7. So here you can see in my folder, English 102, there's the lesson 5.1 Evaluating Web Sources. And when I click on it, I'm going to see a preview of the lesson. And then down below the preview, you can find all the information that you need about this lesson. And the one key piece that you need is this hyperlink right here. Okay, you can embed the lesson, but for Canvas, we're just going to use this hyperlink. So let's go back to Canvas. Now, if I want to add a lesson, like I've added these here and these here, I will just go over to this drop down menu here and say Add Content. And I'm going to choose to add an external tool. Once my choices pop up, I'm going to choose SoftChalk Cloud, which is available for all of you that are at GCC. And then here's where I need to embed that URL. So I just go ahead and paste it in there. And there's the URL that I got from SoftChalk Cloud. And then this is where I want to name the lesson. So whatever lesson it is, I'm just going to say lesson test erase. Okay. And then I want to I don't want to load it in a new tab. I want it to open right within Canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and click add the item. So what happens is it gets added at the very bottom. And then you can drag it up to where you need it to be. And now you'll have a lesson that's embedded right into Canvas. So here it is, my video with my quiz me and my image, and I can go to the next page, etc. So that's it. It's really easy.